Hi there everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Alice Takeover. Today we're gonna to be doing a bikini try on haul in my she shed. If you don't already know who I am, I'm a traveling freelance model and I run model photography events. And so here in the she shed at our home venue, I provide ample wardrobe, <laughs> also including bikinis. <laughs> And so today we're going to be reviewing some of our bikinis that we have available for the models and photographers to shoot with. And don't forget, they all have liners, so that way nobody transmits anything. We keep things clean here. So any and all bottoms that are worn have liners, and whenever a model is done using it or whatever, she can either keep them or she could, you know, take the liner off. I replace these every so often, so these are just a few that we have on hands, and I'm happy to show them to you. So. We're gonna jump right into the video with bikini number one. I didn't even know my hips could move like that. I hope I'm allowed to put that on YouTube. Um, so here we have this one. I love the color. I like more subdued colors, but I know a lot of my fans wanna see me in more colors. So I will link a colored bikini video for you somewhere in this video here. <laughs> that way you can uh, keep up with the colors that I wear. But today we have more subdued colors in this wardrobe haul here. So, I love this. Cute. <laughs> I like the style of this. It's kind of sporty. I like the color. I like the uh, way it fits. There were little cups that came in this, but I pulled them out because my big fat jongas wouldn't fit in it otherwise. So we're going to hop out of this one and into the next one. So with that said, here we go. So here we have our next bikini. This one's all right. I like the, that we have a bandeau style. And actually, that reminds me. So if we were to have this bikini, it's kind of plain on its own, but you could pair it with a cowgirl hat. And so that automatically makes it kind of Western. <laughs> People here at our venue really love to shoot at the barn. So this can be an outfit that somebody shoots out at the barn. <laughs> no problem at all. So a bandeau is really nice. It's a little bit different than having sleeves. I think this one did come with sleeves at one time, but they have since been lost into the ether of our events. Sometimes things go missing here and there, but in general, we keep a pretty good eye on all of our stuff. So, um, yep, yeah, I love this outfit. It's really good. It's IG safe, as they say. <laughs> it's safe for socials. Pair it with a hat, kind of give it a cowgirl flair and some boots. And with that said, we will hop into the next one. All right, so here we have the next bikini. I love this bikini, <laughs> as I say for most items that I own, but this one particularly, I love the patterning here of this one. Um, I do understand that it is a higher waisted bikini. I love that this is a vintage style. It's good fit in the back and then from the front. So this is a really cool vintage style bikini for models who maybe want to model something a little bit more covered and photographers who may want something a little bit more safe for their socials. I love the patterning here and I love that it's paired with a plain colored top but it's very complimentary and I love the cut here. I love that it is um, like a sweetheart neckline here. I have a cute little mirror I could look at to see how I'm looking. <laughs> so uh, here in the she shed we have mirrors everywhere for the models to be able to see themselves and get ready for their photo shoots. And so with that said, we'll hop into the next bikini. All right, and so here we have our final bikini for today. I love this one. I can't quite show you the backside because it's a little bit too risky, but we have lots of little bikinis available here at our venue for both models and photographers to shoot at. And with this particular bikini, I didn't quite have a top to go with it. I'm sure it had a top, but somebody, somebody misplaced the top, but that's okay. So we ended up just pairing it with one of our little shirts. So this shirt I barely fit in personally. Um, I think a smaller chested model would probably fit better in this shirt, but uh, these bottoms are very cute. Uh, I like the pairing when you have like a little bottom with like a shirt, you know, so it kind of balances it out too. 
versus just having small on small or like a more covered with covered type thing. I don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> I love that I was able to pair it with like, you know, a, a not shiny shirt, like a, a matte shirt. And then the bottoms are shiny, so it's giving it's giving dimension. <laughs> and so with that said, that concludes this try on haul. If you liked what you saw today, feel free to give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more. And I'll link the model photography information down in the description for you. And don't forget to check out my courses if you're interested in learning more about the model photography industry. I just love how the courses and the events have now come together and created this amazing community of like-minded creative people who like to come together and make amazing art. So that wraps up this try on haul. Thanks again for tuning into this video and I'll see you on the next one. Bye! <laughs>